get that down to a 110 outlet, which is what we're used to seeing when you're dealing with the house. Now you can buy a, um, there's a companies, I know Injector Dry makes the splitter that plugs in the dryer outlet that will give you four, um, four dedicated circuits coming out of it that you can do. Well, what I'll show you is how are you going to do that, how are you going to find power if you got to bring in 100 fans? You, know, you only have one dryer outlet now, so you're only going to get so much off of that. So we'll show you how to, how to take the KW to run this, and the KW to fire off 100 air movers and another 20 LGRs, and how to size that. Now we won't get down into exactly how much distribution you need all the way down the line, but you'll know what size generator. We'll teach you how to determine what size generator. So, and we're going to use power factors, and we'll talk about that tomorrow, but we're going to keep it real simple. We're going to use one. That's up to you guys to determine what you want to use when it comes to the type of equipment you have. So, uh, questions on this equipment, or the transport? It's hot. I don't want to stand outside. <laughs> so, so what, how do you power the, is that off of propane, or is that? Well, this would, we would have power coming in from a building. It would, the, the, two, the 208 would come in, and we would sit, this would transform it up to 460. And it's nothing but a bunch of one, copper windings. So can you run it off of? Can you run that off a generator? Yes, you could. Or, or, yeah, you, you could. Can run directly. So you could run 460 for your dehumidifier. And you could have 460 coming in here and have distribution all the way down to 110. And that's that's not uncommon in a large commercial project have to be there. Hopefully, when we get in there, we'll pull the panel off so you guys can so, see. So, when you uh, rent like a trailer unit, you know, sure. has all this stuff. Not, not normally. Not normally. Because you have to, you have to lot for the extra energy to, to power all the all the air movers. The, the, what Lee has over here in this unit is an 1800 CFM unit with what size generator? Uh, 12 kV. Uh, so it's a very small generator. So it doesn't have much energy left to run anything else. And when we size our permanent systems that are on trailers, they're sized to pretty much run what's on the trailer. Now if you want to bring in and run 200 air movers off temporary power, you're going to have to figure out, okay, I'll, I'll work all the way all that all the way back into KW for a certain size generator. And then you got to figure out how am I going to get, you know, how many plugs do I, if I got 200 air movers, I need hopefully about 100 receptacles to plug into. And each of those hundred are going to have to be their own circuits. How do you get a hundred circuits out of a generator? I'll show you how to. I'll show you how we do that. Not exactly how to break it down to the tenth degree. But. Questions? Michael. No, I was just in the back.